What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're taking on Bommel on hard, floor 90, and I've got a pretty accessible team that hopefully a lot of you guys are going to be able to build. Um, we've got three fusion champions and we've got Arbiter. So that's four champions that make it pretty accessible. Uh, and then there's one champion you obviously have to pull. But outside of that, hopefully this could be able to help a lot of you guys be able to do this. And I'm pretty sure the fifth champion we're bringing in as well could be replaced by other bomb champions. But we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, check out the video, then go through gear and masteries, and then look at the setup. So this is the team that we're running. We've got Arbs, we've got Astrolith, we've got the Rat King, we've got Helicat, and we've got G-Nuts. So Arbs is just purely in here to boost our Termia, keep the team really, really fast. But she's also bringing in increased attack, which is huge, especially for bomb champions. Bomb champions, all their damage comes from attack. And the more attack you can bring in, the more damage they're going to do. So that's purely what Arb's going to be doing for us. Uh, then let's talk about Gina. He's my favorite fusion of all time. Such a good champion for PvE. Um, and the way I built him is that I can use him in Spider, um, Hard, 10. Um, I'm going to be trying to use him for Finite, but we're also using him for Bommel as well. So he's ticking a lot of spots as well. But that A3, the amount of damage that he can do, and actually, I forgot, I actually use him in Hydra, Nightmare as well. He's just such a good champion, and he can just bust out so much damage. So good. Um, then we've got Helicat, who's probably my second favorite fusion of all time. Uh, great for Iron Twins, um, great for Arena as well, and just good all around. Just also Clan Boss as well, if you want to build an unkillable. But yeah, such a great all-rounder, but I know, and whatever content you put him in, he's just going to be an absolute monster and he is going to wreck peeps for you. So the Rat King, he's a pretty decent champion. Um, I don't love him, but he's still really, really good. Um, in this, you know, I, I think on this bomb all run, he's going to drop about four or five bombs, and that's where most of the damage is going to come from. And then we've got Astrolith, who's probably the most underrated champion of all time. I absolutely love Astrolith. Um, so her bombs on her A3 cannot be resisted, so she only needs speed and attack. Um, so that makes her really, really strong. She doesn't need any accuracy. Um, so this is really important. I just want to point this out first of all. So let's just pause it. So what's going to happen is Helicat is going to open up with his A2, and we need to do this. So this is really, really important. And then what's going to happen is uh, Bumble is going to try and strip the team of any buffs, and then... Helicat is going to use A3, and that's going to protect the team and just give us a little bit more survivability so we can whip around all four our abilities and then finish off Bommel. And you guys are going to see it is a really, really close fight. And um, we just get away with the skin of our teeth. However, there's one thing you might notice is that g -Nut can't help himself and he just focuses the side bombs, and that's because he throws out a freeze. So it does sort of make sense to some extent. I guess if we really wanted to, you could actually just focus Bommel instead manually. Um, personally, I wouldn't farm Bommel, even though uh, he does drop really, really good gear. Um, it's out of date now. You know, with Stone Skin, you don't need it anymore. Um, and more importantly, what I'd be aiming to do is get to Dark Fae, Floor 120, and just farm that lethal gear because that would just benefit your account so much more than, unfortunately, this gear that he's dropping. Yeah, so we just managed to get, if, like I said, we just managed to get away with the skin of our teeth. However, if you really want, like I said again, you could just use G-Nut to just focus the boss instead of the side ads. So Rat King, 800k, G-Nut, 800k, Astrolith, 400, and Helicat doing 200. So they're all putting in a lot of work, um, but I think the Rat King is definitely doing the most amount of damage on the boss. I mean, if I had two Rat Kings, I'd definitely run that instead of Astrolith. But still, I don't think everyone has that luxury. Um, but there's definitely, I think Astrolith is the only champion that you could sub out here. And you could definitely bring in uh, just different bomb champions. You know, even Soul Drinker, with enough accuracy, enough attack, and enough speed, he should probably be able to pump out enough damage as well. And also, when he dies, he's going to throw out bombs onto the bomb wall as well. So that should help. So I definitely feel a lot of people should be able to build a team similar to this. We've got... Three Fusion Champions, Astrolith, who's replaceable, and they've got Arbiter, who everyone gets. 
So um, let's look at the setup and then we'll look at gear and masteries. So first of all, we got racking. First round can do what he liked. Second round, we're making sure we lock out the A3 and you want to keep the A2 on just so he does a bit more damage. And then for round three, we want to drop the bombs and we don't want to use the A2. We want to be using just his A1 after that. Um, we won't be cycling fast enough to get back round to the A3. So yeah, just want to focus that A1 so we just drop as many bombs as we can. Then we got G-Nut and um, yeah, he has his A3 locked out on round one, locked out again. And we want it to be our priority on the boss and then we're not going to use Fury of King. Arbs can do what she likes on the first round. Second round, locking it all out. And then round three, um, lock out her A2. And we want A, uh, sorry, A3 first and then A2. Sorry, A3 first, A4 last. Uh, then Astrolith, do what she wants. Lock out bombs on the second wave. And then we want her to prioritize those bombs on the boss. And then Helicat, we're locking out the A3. We're going to try and open with the A3 just to give the team a bit of survivability and then take it off. And then A3, um, like again, A2 first and then the shields. Yeah, and I want, yeah, just want to make sure, really important because you might mess things up if the A2 is not turned on here. So we've looked at the team. Let's just go over the speeds quickly as well. So my Arbiter is not particularly fast. In fact, she's really, really slow compared to what arena's like now. But, you know, I'm free to play. I can't compete against these whales who have, like, full faction guardians and just insane gear. Um, I think she's only got a triple roll on her gloves and chest, but everything else is just doubles. Even, even her banner's just a double as well. So, yeah, she's not particularly fast, but I think if you're probably 300 and above, I think that'll be more than enough for this. That's all we care about her is speed. Um... Next up, I think it's Astrolith. It's at 271. So she's super fast. I don't feel like she needs to be that fast. As long as she's bath, I'd say 260 is more than enough. Uh, my G Nut's pretty fast, so he's at 251. And then we've got the Rat King at 253. And Helicat is at 273. And this is the speed that I use for Iron Twins as well. So if you can, you should always, always double up your champions. Try and get them in as much content as you can. All right, let's check out the gear and mastery. So first up, we got Astrolith, and yeah, she's in cruel and speed. It doesn't have to be cruel, even if it's offense gear, that's fine. As long as we get that bonus attack percentage, that's all we care about. And of course, we want a bit of speed on her as well, because we want her to be fast. And, uh, you know, I even use her for tag arena, for speed farming teams. She's just insane, such an underrated champion. So gloves, attack percentage, chest, attack percentage, not even six star and boots the speed as well. Would prefer them to be attack percentage, but then we're going to lose a lot of speed. Uh, ring attack, amulet attack and banner is attack as well. So total stats, we've got 42k HP. We got 6.6k attack, uh, 271 speed and 2.6k defense. So a little bit of defense is nice on her as well. You know. She was the last woman standing and just to help carry that fight. So she did need a little bit of defense. Crit rate doesn't really matter on her. It does help with her A1 though. If she does uh, get uh, crits, then um, she does speed up and boost the whole uh, team's turn meter. So that's kind of good. But crit damage, accuracy, resistance, it's not really going to help us. It doesn't really matter. Uh, skills are really like uh, temporal chains on her. Just being able to slow the enemy down really does help, especially for Arena. Um, it doesn't really do much, too much to Bommel, but, you know, it does help a little bit. But you, honestly, you don't need Blessings on her. She'll be fine. Uh, Mastery, she's got very, very specific ones because she is a Bomb Champion. Um, so we've decided to take a little bit of HP. Um, and then we've gone into uh, Arcane Celerity. So that's going to help boost our time meter when our bombs go off. So a good chance of happening. And then Laura still just to increase our attack and increase our speed again. So offense tree, 90% of the time you always take crit rate, but with bomb champions, you are always going to be taking that little bit of extra attack. Um, Keen strike, I don't know why I took it, to be honest. Um, I just wanted to get into a whirlwind of death. 
So um, the more kills she gets, um, the faster she's going to be as well. So that's going to help help us, you know, outpace bomb all and get more bombs in. And all we really care about is going into War Masters, does, just so she can do a little bit more damage when she's hitting the boss. Um, next up, we've got my Arbiter. And she's purely built for Arena. So, of course, she's in triple speed set. And the gloves, you know, all we care about is substats of speed, um, substats of speed on the chest, and then speed on the boots. And I did the little cheeky chat tick you can do. Um, so what you do is you farm Nightmare Campaign. Um, I think it's stage 6-6. Six, six. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so basically you just get as many speed boots as you can, and then you just try and get um, that bonus ascension of speed on the boots. So ring, just HP. Um, then we've got a nice defensive uh, reaction amulet. And then we got like a, a resistance banner. It's pretty decent, but, you know, definitely need it like to be a triple or quad roll, to be honest, for arena now, nowadays. So total stats, we've got 55k HP, so you should be pretty tanky. 2.9k defense, 359 speed. And then the rest of the stats don't really matter, but she does have a decent amount of uh, resistance for arena. So 365 resistance for arena. Uh, I definitely uh, need to start farming dragons some more, try and get some, get some luck on. Um, so masteries, again, these are just masteries specifically for arena. And I do like taking timely intervention. Just um, if anyone does die, it means you can cut in revive them and then boost your team's turn me up. Really, really nice tactic to use. Um, alternatively, another good uh, option is to go Unshakable as well. But these are pretty standard masteries for um, Arbiter. Well, for Arena anyway. So next up, we've got Helicat and we've got Double Speed and then um, One Piece Stone Skin. So gloves, we've got Crit Rate on the gloves, um, Defense on the chest, Speed on the boots. Defense on the ring, uh, crit damage on the amulet, and then we've got defense on the banner. So 470k HP, 4.3k defense. I'd like that defense to be a little bit higher. Like if I get to 6k, that would significantly increase the damage that we could do. Um, then 273 speed. So that is specific for Iron Twins team that I run. Uh, overkill on the crit rate, but you know, it was either crit rate gloves or crit damage, and you know I wanted to have 100% crit crit rate. Um, would love that crit damage to be higher so we could do some more damage, and then the rest of the stats don't matter. Uh, we do have brimstone because I'm using them for iron twins. It just helps increase damage a little bit when it lands. Um, and then yeah, I never finished the masteries. He doesn't need it. Um, you know it depends what content you're using for, but for what I'm using him for, he doesn't need it. Um, but yeah, so very, very standard stuff in the off, uh, offense tree, just going into War Masters and support also very, very standard. Just getting that Laura Steel just to help us get those speed requirements that we need for Iron Twins. So here's my um, Gnut. So he's in a very budget build. I know a lot of people go Savage or Relentless, but it's so hard to get such good stats and get the gear as well. So I've gone for Perception for speed and accuracy because he does need those uh, to land his freeze or turn meter pushback. Um, and also, he needs to be fast for finite as well. And then we've just gone crit damage, crit damage, just to help bump up the numbers so he can just absolutely slam with his A3. So his gloves are crit damage. His chest is accuracy. His boots are speed. Uh, defense on the ring. Uh, crit damage on the amulet. And then accuracy on the banner. So total stats, we've got 40k HP, 3.3k defense. 251 speed and uh, 100 well, well crit cracked and then we've got 268 crit damage and then 386 uh, accuracy so like i said that i am working towards a finite team and i feel like these stats are definitely about to help me um be able to take him out but we'll have to see i'll let you guys know how i get on when i get there and um, i decided to go phantom touch i do feel like it's just a good way to inflict bonus damage but it definitely needs to i don't know i definitely need to try and awaken him a little bit more but for now it helps a little bit um yeah and fully booked of course as well just such a beast of champion i don't know how you can not fully book him 
I mean, if you wanted to do it on a budget, just keep it in his A3 and in A2, he doesn't really, really need it. And neither does he. Well, actually, he does need it on his A1 just to um, help with that chance of pushing back turn meter. So that is kind of important. And masteries, I think I've just gone very, very basic. Um, again, just accuracy, um, trying to increase, or well, just accuracy. Laura still just to bump up our stats. And then Master Hexa, just to keep our debuffs out for as long as possible. Offense Tree, um, slightly different. So we've gone for Crit Rate, and we've gone for Whirlwind of Death. So again, this is for Finite, um, just to help. If we do get kills, that means that we are going to increase our um, speed by an extra 18, which is just huge. Um, you know, and so we can keep that Tummy under control. And because he's such a hard eating champion, I just feel Cycle Violence is a must. Um, just to try and reduce the cooldown of that A3. You just have to. There's there's no two ways about it. And then it's just all about the damage on the left-hand side. And we're going to go into Giant Slayer um, just so we can get more procs on our A3 and A1. Here we go. Everyone's favorite rat um, is Furmin Lord. And yeah, he's in a broken set with perception and speed. So I'm going to go through all his pieces just because it, it was quite difficult. Like, you know, I started to run out of gear. So I just had to get what I could. Um, so, we you know, again, we're looking for speed, substats of speed, attack percentage, and accuracy. And we've got a really nice helmet here. That is an insane helmet. It's a shame that I had to use it here. But, you know, that 36% attack, I just couldn't turn it up. Um, then we got speed again, really nice um, shield. Uh, attack percentage on the gloves. Uh, attack percentage on the chest. And then speed on the boots. we got an attack ring and um attack amulet and then we've got accuracy on the banner with really really nice rolls in attack percentage so he's pretty pretty low on the hp uh 31k hp 6.2k attack 2.2k defense 253 um speed and then 364 accuracy so you want it to be pushing for 350 accuracy at least uh but yeah that's that's him um blessings um if i was going to use one it would be smite just to help do a bit of extra damage to the boss and he's a champion you definitely want to fully book um, and masteries i didn't finish them off um i guess it's just that he doesn't really benefit i guess he does benefit a little bit but not hugely from any of these uh masteries but yeah i do i do need to sort of finish him off to be honest but yeah, and again, just sort of standard stuff on the offense tree. And um, again, just pretty standard what you do on support as well. Um, I just just thinking about it as well is that if you could, if you've got like a really tanky reviver or even someone like a uh, cardinal, you could bring her in in two piece stone skin or no full stone skin. So she gets that two turn of stone skin protection and she could just revive the whole team, reset all their turn meter and they could all go again. And that could just be another way to take out the boss. Um, I'm definitely sure that'd work. So that is pretty much the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll catch you in a video soon. Peace.